Didn't you say happy Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do the toggles. So if we open cheat bar and we do tm.toggle werewolves. Toggle werewolves off. So now all werewolves will not spawn. If a sim tries to spawn as a werewolf, the sim will spawn, but they will not be a werewolf. If any one is a werewolf, they are now human. So that's perfect. And we're gonna do tm toggle vampires. Toggle vampires off. Same thing for vampires. TM toggle mermaids. Mermaids are off. TM toggle alien. Oh, TM toggle aliens. Aliens are off as well, so we won't have any of those. Perfect. Um, we left off. So in the occult settings, we don't have to mess with these four because they will not be in the game. We don't have to do anything with them. Spellcasters, though. Oh, you know what? I bet it is. Spellcasters don't spawn, do they? Maximum spellcasters. So this just keeps them from being born. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Spellcasters aren't born, but they can be generated, but they must just not. Interesting. Okay. So we won't worry about that. If we see a spellcaster, I mean, we can take care of it, but. Oh, we're, I'm sorry. Were we have moving settings i think so allow homeless moving we said disabled homeless apartment percent is zero because we don't want them moving in move out elders when a sim ages up to an elder move them out of their household if they live in a house and move them into a retirement household oh uh no move single sims when doing random move-ins the home lots use eligible single sims from existing homes no disabled that's fine move teens as dependents when enabled teens are treated as dependents they will not move out when they are single sims in a household and they will move with their caregivers uh. oh so it's saying that if you only have a teen in a house they would stay there but if you have a teen in a house with a caregiver and the caregiver moves they would move with their caregiver like their parent that should be fine okay bypass played households when checking for sims moving out of homes bypass any played households rather than just current active that should be fine maximum household pets oh this setting determines the maximum Maximum number of pets that will be adopted into a household for automatic stray move-in and adoption. 103! <laughs> Save all the babies! The default is zero, which is none. Negative one is unlimited, or a specific number can be entered to prevent households filling up with strays. 103! <laughs> Everyone can have all of the pets. Automatic stray move-in prefers households on lots, which can make this happen if enough strays exist. Um, I say maybe maximum of two, because put it this way, I think I'm going to cap towny households at two kids, but here on out, I'm probably just going to do two or they will boom too much, but that should let them boom enough that they can like, you know, keep having family trees that aren't on top of each other. So if they have two parents, two kids, two pets, that'd be like a family of six. And then if like somebody moves in with them because someone gets married or whatever, like, um, okay, maximum house pets, open houses. Number of residential lots to not move Sims into automatically within the world. Is that saying that it will keep one lot open for you? Sure, I don't- I don't know. That's fine. Enforce vampire houses. Vampires will only move into homes that are vampire specific. Oh, we won't have vampires, so that's fine. Bypass dorm residents. When doing move to retirement homes or single sim move outs, bypass dorm residents. Enabled. That's fine. Okay, that one looks good. Populating settings. Uh, we don't want you populating anything. I don't want anyone generated. Can we turn- if we make these all zero, does that mean no one will be generated? Hold up. I'm hoping sims won't generate because we have an NPC for every job. And if occults are off, the only sims that would generate are the ones that were needed for jobs or occults. But I think we're going to have those taken care of. Import tray settings, cast custom gender. Enable or disable bar nights. Aliens at the... Oh, these. Allow sims to get invites to bars. Can we not have any of these? I don't... We don't, we're not... We don't have a bar. We have the saloon, but that's actually a restaurant. No, I'm just turning these off. We'll find out soon. Wait, I turned them all off and it didn't work. Do I have to have... It says disable. Let's try to leave guys' nights. And now see. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you have to leave one, it looks like. Okay, so we'll leave guys' night at the bar then, whatever. Uh, random lot challenges? Is that... Uh, okay, I don't care about that. That's fine. Neighborhood story settings, I thought... Didn't D-Sim says she does not mess with these? If this setting is enabled, neighborhood stories move moves will be limited by mc population settings so many words ooh, 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 more settings all right bypass sim culling if enabled sims will never be culled when the population reaches high numbers enabled don't cull my sims i'll cull them myself uh bypass clown walk by enabling the setting will prevent the random generation of clown sims for walk by situation wait this can happen you can have clowns yeah how come we don't have random clowns walking by 
<laughs> I'm gonna leave it disabled just so that I can see if we have a clown walk by and I will screenshot it because that's never happened. No reaper stalking. Enabling the setting will prevent Grim Reaper from casually showing up in public places. <laughs> but does that happen too? This stuff doesn't happen in my games. I guess enabled. I don't need Grim everywhere. He's already everywhere. Randomize visiting sims. Shuffles the list. EA generates a valid sims to visit a lot so they do not visit in the same order every time. That can happen? I, I never noticed these things. I didn't know this was a thing, but I guess enabled? Sure, randomize them. Disable immortal sims. Turn on aging for sims that are normally immortal. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Oh! You can make all those people die. I don't want that because we want them to live forever. Baby Ariel! Jasmine Holiday. Journey... What is Jasmine Holiday? Is that person? Seasons? Scarecrows, Flower Bunny. Oh. I didn't know you... Service sims don't die? <laughs> This is all news to me. Tragic Clown! Oh! He's immortal! That's why I couldn't kill him! Dang it! I tried so hard. He would not die. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that is all news to me. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I suppose... I never had a clown walk by, but... I don't need Grim or a clown. That's fine. All right. How interesting. So that's empty population done. MC pregnancy. I'm gonna have to use my brain. Okay. Adoption settings. Adoption ages. Specifies ages valid for random adoptions. But why is an infant in there? They can all be there. Adoption percent male, 50. Opposite sex adoption parents. Percentage chance that an opposite sex couple will adopt a child rather than have one through pregnancy. Right now, we won't have that just on? I've had sims just adopt sims, but... Rename non-active adoptions. Determines whether to rename an adopted child for an NPC or played sim after same sex sex relationships adopt. I'm gonna leave a default. Okay. Allow homeless marriage. If enabled homeless, sims are eligible for random marriage. Random marriage? I assume we want that off. How's it gonna be for like if the doctor is homeless? Will he be able to marry the girl? There's so many settings and then I'm like, wait, what does this one mean? It says eligible for random marriage though. That's why I'm confused because I would only want them to get married if they actually have a relationship, not random. I need examples. I wish it said example if. <laughs> Bypass dorm residents when scheduled random marriages occur. What? Bypass any sim that is a dorm resident for either a target or a spouse. That's fine. Bypass played households. Yeah. Bypass robots. Yeah. Bypass active sim. Ro so random is random. Yeah. So this is saying that random marriages would bypass people in relationships. So random marriages must be actually random. So we don't want those. We want like marriages for when people are in a relationship. Bypass. Okay. Days to run check. Specify days to run marriage checks at midnight. We I don't. I don't want random marriages. Like gender preference, if enabled when random marriage. Why are we having random marriages? Are generated for NPC sims result of checks against same-sex pregnancy or same-sex percentage will permanently set the gender preference on the target sims by flagging them as <laughs> There's so much. It was fast and nothing's- or wait, it hasn't been very long since it happens so nothing's coming up yet. I, I don't want random marriages. Marriage percentage. Teens? What? I'm so confused. There's so many. I'm just like, what? Wait, what? Specifies ages that sims must be for eligibility for marriage. One or more ages must be chosen. But is this only for random marriage? Or is it for marriage when they love each other too? I need answers. Mar is there another? Hold on. Marriage sim selection other marriage. What's an other marriage? Is it just mixing them? I'm so lost. It's for when they love each other too. Okay, thank you. I need it written like that. Like, these are random marriages game makes happen um, with no relationship. And these are when they love each other. I need the words like that. <laughs> Okay, so I want them to be able to marry as young adults and adults, but I know there's a setting somewhere where it will say that they can only marry their age. I'm pretty sure. And then we'll have elders off because that will help to prevent from people getting remarried over and over and over and over and over. Because then it just makes the family trees very confusing and we've been there, all right? Young adult, adult. Yes. Yes. Marriage percentage. So young adult marriage percentage. I guess just leave it default. So it's saying 20% of young adults will get married. 
Or, I'm just gonna have kids in The Sims. I can't remember if The Sims ever actually turns that off. I play with mods too much to even remember. I, I think so. NPC townies that they don't know and want them to have lives and get married and have babies. Yeah. If MCCC yes without, no. Okay, thank you. I'm like, I actually don't know. Because we always have mods and then like, when I play decades, I don't have them, you know, have a baby once they are elders. So I'm like, uh, I don't know. Mm. So technically, we do want our young adults to get married because of the time most people would be. But not all of them. I don't want all of them to. Should we try 80 and see what happens? I hope they have people to get married to. <laughs> Good luck. And then adults, maybe. And marriage will happen for a sim. So that's if they're... Wait, are these all... This says zero results and no random marriage. Are these random ones too? To turn off elder marriages. The one that lives in Plains and Stranger Bill lives almost forever and had about 20 marriages. Yeah. It'll help so that they're not... They Because every time a sim gets married and then like either that sim dies or if they divorce... Can they even timelessly divorce? I think just when they die, right? It breaks the family tree and if they go and marry someone else, it, it really makes the trees get messed up. And then these ones shouldn't even be a thing because I have them turned off, but I'll set them to zero just in case. I don't know. We'll try that. How is that? Okay. That should be okay. Default is Saturday. That's fine. These are random marriages, but then this one's not just random marriages. That's why I'm so confused. <sighs> random marriages. I hope that's right. I don't know. Neighborhood story settings. We're not altering, right? I think we're supposed to leave those alone. This is where I didn't understand neighborhood stories and MC Command Center. Which one overrides the other? If I turn on neighborhood story stuff, I guess leave that off. Offspring, identical offspring chance is 33%. We're gonna keep all of that default. What's the chance in real life? Chance that offspring will be identical. I wonder. Oh, here's your IRL statistics, if this is right. This says one third of all twins will be identical and two-thirds non-identical and then this says the chances of two of you having wait oh that was an identical twin question oh, oh okay 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 so one third of all twins so that's why it's 33 then so that is actually a correct statistic there. All right, we'll leave that. That's about right. Uh, traits. Determines whether babies inherit non-personality traits from their parents, how many they will inherit, whether they will inherit the specified maximum number of traits or a random number of traits up to the specified maximum. Oh no. Um, where are you gonna keep that? Off. You want the kids to marry townies, I mean, you will know if they need to change the settings so some are available. Oh, oh, okay, 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 I got you. And if we wanted, if we knew there was like a, maybe a kid they grew up with that we want them to marry, we could like flag them not to marry till we're ready to. Yeah, we'll have to remember that. Maximum household children that a sim will have during their lifetime. This is for our townies. I'm thinking of setting them at two. Since some of them already have children, are they gonna have two more? Or are they done because they already have them in their tree? Oh, that was reward traits? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. This will be just, this won't be side families. Side families will still control. This is townies. Good luck, townies. Some of them might have a lot of kids if that adds to what they have. Offspring gender specifies gender that is valid for babies of pregnant sims. You're my friend. Rename non-active offspring? Huh? Determines whether to rename a baby born to an NPC or played sim after a pregnancy completes. Huh? No, oh, no. Why is this so hard to read? I think I'm trying to figure out MC Command Center. That's why I uh, dread doing this and wait till the last minute. This doesn't mean when we get to name them, does it? That one's a different one. That's townies. That's how I name all mine. Is that for unplayed sims or played sims? So, okay, because when I do side families that we control their stuff, they will be my played sims, right? Yeah, and then townies will all be marked as unplayed so that they can do their own thing. Thing. You're in a main household. Someone has a baby. Do you want to name them? Only of our played sims. Not townies. Or maybe we do want to name townies. We're gonna have a lot of names to do if we name townies. Oh no. I guess we could name them all. So played households would be... Active sims would be my main house. Played households would be my townies. Uh, Related to active household would be anyone related. So all? I guess all then. That'll be interesting. Sync child surname. If enabled when a child is adopted or a couple is married, the child's surname will be changed to match the parents if both parents have matching surname. Enabled? Okay. Which one is that? Offspring? Other marriage. Manually rename spouses. Determines whether to rename NPC or played sims after a random marriage completes. I can stay off. I don't know. Move families. When moving sims 
sims due to random marriages move any offspring they have as well yeah remove service limit if enabled limit ea added to prevent marriage the sims and service roles to the active sim will be removed wait oh so like your sims with jobs disabled okay rename opposite sex when marrying a male and female sim change the female's last name to match the male okay yes yes uh -huh. marrying sims of the same gender change their last names to match i don't know i guess we would choose who they match to disabled for now okay yeah um so with the one setting then that wasn't unactive sims so unactive sims will still name their babies themselves won't they I took a long time trying to figure out why my toddler wanted to ask sir to put him to bed it was a tony on the lot oh no he's like listen i want that strange old man out there to put me to bed thank you rename same neighborhood what's this this setting determines if a marriage partner for a randomly generated marriage should only use sims from the same neighborhood world i i don't know i don't want random marriages i'm so confused use traits for marriage change the marriage percentage wait change the marriage percentage change based on applicable traits oh my gosh disable okay other pregnancy allow pregnancy aging enabled because that would be side family well no oh well actually hold on my brain please hold dial up noise here um townies are unplayed they'll be aging up themselves we will still have to age up our side families so <laughs> You could make side families all unplayed, but they would do all of this themselves. How is that all going to work? I'm so confused. Because we... Oh, I know. I know. We roll. We do death rolls. That's why we don't want side families to age up themselves. Never mind. I answered my own question. <laughs> That's right. We do death rolls for them, so they can't age up on their own. We have to see if they live or die. You are playing household. You name the baby. Now, if the Smiths have a... Wi uh, wait. Living in Windenburg have a baby, you will also name their baby, even if you've never played them. Oh, okay. Okay. That'll work then. That'll do. We do want pregnancy aging on. So this would basically be for townies so that they don't pause aging when they're pregnant. Okay, that's fine. Auto marry percentage. The percentage chance that an unmarried sim will get married after becoming pregnant. Wait, you need to be married first. Thank you. Zero. Isn't there a thing to say they have to be married first? I thought that was aging on, which will only be my townies. Okay. How am I? I am confused, apparently. My brain, yeah, is not comprehending today specified sims will not progress in their pregnancies as long as they belong to a category selected below i don't want anyone's pregnancies paused okay pause on playable labor when a non-active played household will has a oh, okay 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 this is what we do want yeah so that's where we can go and help them enabled pregnancy duration we are keeping that to three because that is nine months for us so it's perfect random mood duration i do want to change this so i like having the random moods on for them Especially if I don't do another pregnancy mod, but let's try two hours because one hour gets crazy. I need the only married pregnancy. I don't think I've seen the setting yet. Um, use traits for pregnancy. Change the pregnancy percentage change based on applicable traits. No. Partner sim selection. All right. Allow affairs. Percentage chance to allow married sims to be parents in random pregnancies outside of their marriage. Zero. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> Enforce family relations validations when checking for pregnancy partners. Uh, yes. Sims can only have random pregnancies if there's another sim that matches the relationship specified in the setting. They need to be significant others, right? Yeah. Mary. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. All right. So they can only have babies if they're married. Uh, <laughs> we're not having our townies go wild again. That was so bad. Hey, if you have that set to anything else, they, they will have babies with everyone, okay? I think it's bad. Uh, occupation preference. This saying determines if parent candidates for marriage or pregnancy are limited by where they live. Huh. Oh, partner. Partner candidates for marriage or pregnancy are limited by where they live. Living in homes only? Let's go crazy. No, we already did that once. The trees, the trees, boss lady. I remember once we started realizing what's happening and we go and we click random townies trees and we're like, uh-oh. Because they kept linking. <laughs> you could keep clicking and basically see the whole town in one tree. It was so bad. Valid for partners of pregnant sims. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Same occult only. If enabled, scheduled pregnancy runs will bypass different occult we don't want occults they're off in my game anyways same sex percentage 
Change of pregnancy will be allowed between two sims of same gender dependent on other pregnancy settings allowing a same-sex pregnancy to happen as well. We're gonna have that as zero right now. Yeah, okay. Possible to limit in other ways, but it's more fiddly. It's, it's wild, man. Use same age group. Yes, yes, here it is. Okay, perfect. So only young adults can get young adults pregnant, adults can get adults pregnant, and that's it. Elders are off, teens are off, and they can't cross over between the two. It means the sims, wait, it means the sims you gave a home but are homeless won't have kids. Oh, and I do have some families that are floating, don't I? Okay, let me turn that back on. Where was there? Oh, occupancy. I guess none then. Child partner ages. Specify ages that sims must be for eligibility to be partners for pregnancy. Young adult and adults because they turn into adults at 30, which is still fine to have kids. But not teens, not elders. No, because we had issues with young adults and adults getting together because it's fine if like one was, you know, 29 and one was 30. But we had it where someone just turned 18 type thing and I was not about it and that's how we- yep, uh -huh, mm -hmm, Nope. Same age group, yes. Valid partner, young adult, adult. Okay, that one should be good. Partner sim selection, pet pregnancy settings. Oh my gosh, why is there so many? Ages to run pregnancy, adult. Allow homeless pregnancy. Homeless pets in households not strays are eligible for random pregnancy? Wait, homeless pets in a household? But they're not homeless if they're in a household. Mm, mm. Oh, oh, it's like our floating families. Homeless pets in households, not strays, are eligible for random pregnancy. Sure, why not? If they have room in their house, fine. We're gonna have so many animals. <laughs> I might regret that later. Yeah, maximum household children. Maximum number of offspring a pet will have during their lifetime. Oh, a pet. Does this include the main house too? So if we have a main house pet? Well, no, because you can have them keep getting pregnant. Is this only the other ones? Um, let's do two then so they don't boom too much. And then for the main house, if we have kittens or whatever, or puppies, because I'm sure we will. We can have as many as we want. Um, partner age, adult. Pregnancy percentage. 20 for, oh, for an NPC pet. That's fine. 20% sounds great. Elder pregnancy, what? We'll just, those are default, whatever. Okay. But they have to be adults anyways? Yeah, so the elder one won't even work. Show pregnancy notice. Oh no. Oh, that was pets, right? Yeah, okay. What's next? Pregnant sim selection. Allow homeless pregnancy, yes. Bypass dorm residents, yes. Bypass played households, yes. Bypass robots, wait, I feel like we already did this. Bypass active sims, oh, this was the marriage one. Days until max age. Prevents the sims from becoming pregnant through random NPC pregnancy checks if they are within a specified number of days until they reach the end of their oldest age span available in age to run pregnancy. Oh, actually, no. This this is a good... No, this is good. So this means I could count the days for when... We need a cutoff to age. I need to do a Google. Either like by 40, chance of getting pregnant naturally each month is just 5% according to an average study. So not for everyone. What should I do for cutoff age? What do you guys think? 40, 45 maybe? Because this is what I do for the main house too. So this time around so that we don't have sims being like, you know. Because they, I have my sims, they are adults until they are 65. At 65, they turn into a quote unquote elder in the game. And I don't want them to literally have kids forever and ever and ever and ever because, well... They would as long as they could, but they're not going to forever. And so for side families, the way I'm going to do roles is, you know, let's say uh, a side family just gets married and we move them out and we have a couple, right? And then we're going to roll a dice. I'm not sure which one, but it's going to be a smaller one. And whatever it lands on will be how many living children they're going to try to have. So if, it, if they get a two, then we will have them probably try to get pregnant right away. Well, uh, side families, we do 100% pregnancy rate because when we go there and have them get pregnant, we don't want to have to keep coming back and trying. Main house will have them try. Side ha families are 100%. So we would have them get pregnant and they would have the baby and we roll, you know, when the baby's born to make sure mom lives and everything. And let's say that baby lives and they get pregnant again and they have baby number two. And let's say one of those babies dies. As long as mom is still young enough with whatever age we put, I would have them try again and tr keep trying to have two living kids until mom is of age of not having kids or mom dies or is something else tragic happens type deal. So, 45 sounds good? Okay. And that would give them a lot of years to try, basically. So technically they will be, what is that? 62 and a half? They will be 62 and a half when they're not allowed to have kids anymore. Oh boy, good luck. All right, but that, that gives me my answer for side families though, regardless, and main house. Main house, I think what we're gonna do is take her age, 
put in the percent chance that, um, for what woohoo is or whatever, risky woohoo, that one. We'll put in the percent chance for risky woohoo based on the mother's age in the main house, and they will woohoo. Side families will full on try for baby with 100%. And then townies will do whatever they want. So they can do whatever, whenever, until they're an elder, basically, but they can only have two kids. That sounds good. That was a lot of words. Townies already capped at two, just because I don't need them going crazy. And if we, say, really wanted a family to have another one, we could literally go to them and have them, like, have another baby. We only see NPC kids who lived in less neighborhood stories get them. Exactly. That is true. That is true. So a lot of these, you could imagine that they had more kids, but some of them died. Okay. What was that? That was pregnancy percentage, right? Wait, where was I? Oh, days until max age. Okay. Days to run checks, just run pregnancy checks at midnight. Default should be okay right families with kids already won't have more okay good i wasn't sure if that means they were gonna have two more kids or if they would be done because some of our families already have like five kids pregnancy percentage uh this would be for romance pregnancy overhauls rpo oh, oh, oh. yeah i don't know if i'm gonna use any overhauls i don't know i don't know if i should i don't <laughs> there's so many i don't want any of them to screw up mc command center Unless it takes over in a way that we can edit it real nice, but I don't- Why would I want elders to get pregnant? Wait, can someone explain a random pregnancy or marriage verse one where they're in love? Thank you. <laughs> in Sims, please, in Sims. <laughs> Not IRL. Let's make that clear. I just- I have questions. Oh, man. I need like a, a flow chart because we have main family, played side families, and unplayed townies, and NPCs that you can't touch. That's the sims that we have. <laughs> Please read the category. Random pregnancy is one MCC does at midnight to whatever based on your settings. Non-random is one you do. But like I have a set that only people who are married can have a pregnancy. So when it says random, it means it's choosing one of those people. Random equals cheating? Oh no, no, I'm so lost. Because I have it said that they can have a baby with anybody, but I have cheating turned off, basically. I have it that they can only be married with a, like, relationship, I assume. But they can, like, oh, a young adult can marry a young adult, an adult can marry an adult, and that's it. And then they obviously can't be related. And then, um... I have it where they can only have a baby with the same age that they married, essentially, because they're marrying in that age, and they can only have a mar or they can only have a baby with the person they marry, and then they can only have up to two babies. Because the other one was so confusing too, with the like random marriages and yeah. All right, what was that? Pregnancy percentage use gender pre preference when determining whether an NPC will become pregnant with another NPC sim during random pregnancy. The gender preference of the target sim will be evaluated. Oh, okay. So if you set preferences on the sims, I'm hoping those aren't gonna happen. Specifies ages that sims must be for eligibility for pregnancy one or more ages may be chosen and this is for random isn't it random is whatever your settings are there's a 20 percent chance a young adult who matches your criteria will get pregnant with their husband oh no uh -huh. imagine playing sims with no mods you know we would just be playing <laughs> but i'd get bored in five seconds so it's worth it it's worth it so then i suppose young adults you'd give a little bit higher young adults are 18 to 30 and according to my google women under 30 have about 25 percent chance of getting pregnant naturally each cycle and then over 30 it drops to 20. i'm learning so much good i hope you guys are learning from this even though it's just settings right now oh man so if we did that 30 that would be the chance that Put this at 20. And I don't want any elder pregnancies. We'll see what happens. Did I screw up the marriage ones then? Mm. Wait, where was I? We did that one. Oh, that was this. Allow multiple spouses. Um, we... No, no, there's no. No, we're not having multiple spouses. Get out of here. Occupancy preference. Setting the terms of partner candidates for marriage or pregnancies are limited by where they live. No. Same occult only. We don't have occults. Same sex percentage. Percentage chance that a marriage will be allowed between two sims of the same gender. Not right the sex. Um... Spouse gender specifies the gender that is valid for spouses of sims ready to get married. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> I need examples. Why are there no examples? Please. Spouses of sims ready to get married. I don't know what it's saying. Um, I don't know. Allow only sims in same age category to get married. Yes. 
Valid spouse ages adult and young adult. Yes. Okay. This is the spouse of the sim who can get pregnant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So only young adults and adults can get married and they can only get married to the same of their age. Okay. The MC pregnancy is a rough category. I gotta say, that took all my brain cells. And I only had three. MC tuner. Yay. Allow child baby care. Yes. Allow emotional deaths. No. Allow instant upgrades. No. Allow monster under the bed. Should we make a tally of this decade's challenge? If I leave monsters under the bed, how many people will tell me to turn them off? I swear it's been told to me like a hundred times. Allow multiple BFFs. Yes. Allow teen move in. Allow teens to invite other sims to move in and also be invited to move out. Uh, no. Dis wait. Disable witness death. If enabled when someone dies on a lot, no sims in area will run to wash the death. Oh. No, we need that on. Friendly ask if single. Ask if single is a friendly interaction, not a romantic one. Uh, we'll keep that romantic. Friendly stay the night. Oh, well, you can have sleepovers now, though, so... That's the friendly one. Kiss is always available. Oh, I would actually love that. Because, yeah, you can't have them make out unless they're, like, super flirty. So if you're trying to have them just do a, a, a nice little kiss, it doesn't work. I like... So they do annoy me, but I'll explain. I mean, I said it before, but, like, kids do wake up their parents. Whether because of a monster or because they want water, because they're scared, because they want to get up, because they want a PB&J sandwich, whatever. Kids wake up their parents in the middle of the night a lot. So... I think it's like a realistic aspect that the kid gets up and goes and does that or that they can't sleep that night type thing. That's why I leave it on. Does it get annoying because sometimes we will have a kid who like has the monster under the bed every single night? Yes, but a lot of times it's not at all the time and then it's not so bad. So that's why I keep it on. And I don't have a nightlight because the nightlights are like, you might as well just turn it off. And the nightlights are electricity anyways, so. I kind of want to turn this on. I mean, I can always turn it back off. I'm gonna turn it on. Um, wow, I read that as a different word. <laughs> put away books fix. If enabled, Sims will attempt to put away books when they finish reading or doing homework. That's fine. Stop random flirting. Prevent Sims from flirting with another Sim autonomously when they're in a flirty mood if they have no prior romantic relationship levels. Yes, yeah, stop flirting with your family members is weird. Okay. Um, and change interaction autonomy. This is like, oh, it will turn off Thomas mischief, mean proposals. Allow autonomous proposals. I mean, we would... The chance of this occurring is controlled by the core game and not by my mod. This would be interesting for us when we are having them meet their partners. Because their partner could autonomously propose to them. Should we turn it on? Because obviously this wouldn't happen like it wouldn't be between family members or anything. It would only be like if we had a young adult and a young adult. It could happen then. Or if I left my sim autonomous, my sim might ask them. That could be fun. Sometimes we try to plan the proposals and get them in a certain spot. But it would be interesting if sometimes they propose to us. Yeah, let's try it. If it starts happening all the time and like it's ridiculous we can turn it off but that could be fun um what was that Th thomas marriage wait said <laughs> i do want to turn on risky woohoo for the main house and put the percentage at whatever the mom's age is and then yeah i wouldn't mind having a thomas on too it won't happen much because we pretty much always queue them up but sometimes they get left to be autonomous when we're dealing with other sims so there is a chance that then the parents could go and, and autonomously risky woohoo. It would be interesting. Autonomous flirty? That's on. Actually, yeah, wait. Autonomous gardening. Any elves will summon a lot with an object that needs gardening may autonomously perform gardening. I would be worried that the people who come over to shop at our store would garden in our garden if I turn that on. <laughs> autonomous cleaning. If it, any elves will summon a lot, will autonomously clean. Yeah, I would worry that random sims are going to do that. So I guess we'll leave those off. Autonomous flirty, yes. Autonomous marriage, no. Autonomous proposals, yes. Autonomous mean, yes. Autonomous mischief, yes. Okay, those look good. Autonomy scan? I don't want to click those. I don't know what those are. MC woohoo! Oh boy, this setting has some interesting settings. I remember last time. All right, we're almost done with MC settings. Why did this take so long? Woohoo actions. Allow family. Uh, disable, disable times 50,000. Okay, allow teens. Adults and teens. No, no. Remember when I said this one has some scary settings? Same sex try for a baby. Disabled. Allow. I'm going to say the word wrong disabled no strings woohoo disabled no strings ignore gender preferences disabled <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> Please. Allow try for baby. When enable try for baby interactions, show on menus as normal. Yes. Elder try for baby. No. I'm done with that category. Woohoo pregnancy. Risky woohoo percent. Now this will only be for the main house. I think. Even if it was for any other houses, they wouldn't be autonomously woohooing if we're not on their lot anyways, so it should be fine. Let me scan for if you want to turn off a specific thing for autonomous, they keep doing something and you just want them to stop that specific thing. Oh. One time I had no strings woohoo and autonomous and my sims were woohooing everyone. <laughs> oh, he's in the shed. No, we don't want that to happen. So for the main house, we're going to put it at 25% for the mom. Because what we're going to try is have her do a risky woohoo every day. Because that's like every three months, basically, until they get pregnant. And then once they're pregnant, obviously she's pregnant. And then they have the baby, give them a day or so, and have them go again until we have the amount of kids we want in the main house. That's what we're going to try this time, I think. And then once she turns into an adult, we will change this to 20. And then once she's four. We'll change it to 5% and then once she's 45, we'll put it at zero or whatever or if it switches to the next person in the house I, I, I gotta be careful of risky woohoo if I have it on so they can autonomously woohoo What if the grandparents because you know how they have multi-generational homes? What if these guys are still adults, but then their kids are doing um, you know having babies right like we have two families in the house like two parents and what if they have the risky woohoo up back at 25 percent but then it goes on the grandparents oh no <laughs> i guess you could um if they actually got pregnant you could revert it back i'm gonna type myself a note so i don't forget since risky woohoo is on for main house specifically change percentage to match current birthing mother. I don't know how else to say that, but like the current person having babies in the main house, her age, and we're gonna do 25% for young adult, and then 20% for adult, but then when they hit age 40, at age 40, turn to 5%. At age 45, flag her as not to get pregnant that sounds good and if we need to like let's say you know maybe in the main house everyone's literally have died and they don't have an heir and she's 45 we could do something like we set it back to like three percent and try every day to see if we can get out of a kid but chances of that happening is pretty low but we could change it if we needed to um let's see side families will have 100% try for baby, but they will roll for living children. And then townies will have only two kids in their lifetime. So that should work. I'm glad we figured that out together. Yeah. All right. I wrote myself a note so I don't forget later. Cool. All right. Um, so risky woohoo percent. We have a 25% for the mom in the main house right now. Use fertility and risky. Oh, use for t wait. If normal woohoo results in pregnancy from risky woohoo percent, use fertility trait and percentage chance. Um, so that's the one that you can redeem. Disable because I want to stay at what it is. I probably won't even give them those traits anyways. Try for baby percent. The percent chance. Oh, this is for try for baby. So try for baby. I'm gonna put at a hundred. Oh, a thousand. This is so that side families will definitely have a baby when we go and have them have one because we are already, you know, we already roll a dice for them. Um, same sex pregnancy sim. Opposite sex pregnancy sim. Female gets pregnant. Okay. Uh, perfect. Next is woohoo reactions. Oh no. <laughs> I hate reading through all these on stream. Bed sharing. When enabled, Sims will sleep in beds with other Sims, ignoring relationships. Disabled. No jealousy. Romantic interactions will not trigger jealousy reactions from other Sims. Disabled. Use privacy for woohoo. When enabled, Sims will shoo other Sims from the room when they woohoo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? No, I'm not asking. Enabled. <laughs> Sleepy woohoo. Wait. When an NPC is involved in bed woohoo between 10 and 4 a.m., they will go to sleep in the bed. <laughs> Well, we won't have an NPC doing that. So disabled, thank you. <laughs> Sims nudity. Nudity interaction. Uh, 81. New yeah, so you can set them to actually take their clothes off, which would give them the blur. Wow, okay. Okay, we're gonna leave all those just normal. We don't see it anyways. <laughs> oh no, Corp, please. Nudity genders? Oh, nudity ages? 
Stay nude after woohoo, please. Oh no. Nude. There, there's, a, there's a lot in here. So, uh, if you want to use these settings, there you go. Now you know they exist. Okay, 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 okay. So that, that, that's, we don't need any of that. Other settings, autonomous woohoo. We're going to enable this because it will only be for active sims. And we'll make sure we flag the people we don't want to get pregnant so that if they do autonomous woohoo with their lover, that's fine. They can do that, but they won't be getting pregnant. The stories make themselves, they sure do. They sure do. Autonomous try for baby disabled because we have it at 100%. We do not want anyone doing that because uh, that'd be an instant baby. Autonomous rest time. When autonomous woohoo is enabled, this setting will control the minimum number of hours to pass between autonomous woohoo for a sim, please. Um, we're gonna put this at 24 hours because I'm only gonna have the sim well yeah because if the sims who can get pregnant in the main house do autonomous woohoo I only want them to have a try every hour or every hour oh god please I gotta go every every 24 hours so like once a day so if they autonomously woohoo and we notice I would have them try again the next day if they weren't pregnant um and then if it's the elder as well <laughs> that should be fine okay we're done with that combo next um try for baby rest time extreme super love yeah why i don't know what this is oh 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 i didn't read when enable sims will woohoo more often oh okay 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 we, we don't need that they'll be fine <laughs> i'm telling your mother disabled birth control duration how many hours it lasts oh my uh we won't have it on right now so it doesn't matter all moods birth control the birth control interaction will always be available on active sims rather than when flirty oh okay we won't have that on right now. They don't have birth control. All right, that should be good. I'm done with that tab. Oh, thank goodness. Reset settings. That's good to know. Okay. We're done with MC Command Center. Then I say we play test today. We need to set up the spreadsheet and stuff, but just so we can see a gameplay day today, just to test the lot, I say we play a day. Just to make sure everything works. I need to flag the townies who can't get married. Oh, and I need my NPC sims. Okay, never mind. I have a couple things to do. Let's start here. Save and exit. I gotta put the NPC sims in. And we need to make sure that they don't die. But how do I flag an NPC sim without playing the sim and ruining them? Is that even possible? So I have to put them in the game, summon them to the lot, and then flag them all? Okay. This should be fun. This should be great. Aspiration complete. Oh, nice job. Good job, everyone. Look how sweet they are. Okay. So let's start with... Let's start with the babies. Right? Can you um put this baby down? Yeah, just drop her right there on the ground. Okay. Um, No, not kill. Oh, here it is. Wait. Oh, geez. I have so many options here. Go over here. Hello, little babies. Oh, look at their face. Oh, they actually look so good in my game. My poor baby. Look. Look at their the eye default and everything and the little blush. She just dropped. Him. She's a little sassy. A little sassy girl. So, if we hit MC Command Center, are you on your main outfit? We can look in here. MC Dresser, that's your everyday outfit, right? Look at this baby. So, we want to... Do we have to copy the outfit first? What do I click? Set me through the first one and then I should be able to do the rest. Outfits commands, save outfits. Is that an MC Dresser? Oh, outfit commands, save outfit. Is that it? And then you can clean them. Delete them, load, random, and that's it. So if I want to... When you clean outfits, does that mean it would make this sim have only stuff that we've saved? I think that's how that works, right? And then deleting the saved outfit would delete the outfit that we just saved? Or any saved outfit? Load an outfit, you'd pick one to load. Random saved outfit would what? Give them a random outfit and then delete it would delete it out of this category? Boy. <laughs> you can clean another sim and it would load these outfits. So if we put it on like the other baby. Okay. All right, all right. So now we have to go over here, change outfit to the second one. Outfit command, save. So that's not too bad. So it says everyday one, saved outfit two. We got this. <laughs> Get ready. Some of these songs are so much quieter than the others. Outfit command, save outfit. Every day it has two, now it's gonna have three. Okay, okay. Come across a sim who's not dressed appropriately, you can load an outfit or choose a random one. So if you click load outfit, I wanna click these just to see. I'm scared, but. So it says delete because this one's already saved, so it's letting you know. And if you loaded it, what would it be loading? 
he's dressed. I just was curious if it gave you options. Go to four. Make a tutorial video. This is your tutorial. Save. Change. Save. Change. Save. Change. Save. Change. Save. Wait, did I save this one? We are saving outfits to a dresser so when a townie ages up or is born, they won't be wearing futuristic clothes. Oops, I saved this one. Later on when fashion changes, we delete these outfits, load new ones, and then we that's when we run the like dresser change on everyone basically. Save Oh, it went too far. We're on this one. Heck, there's so many. Did we do this one? That one is. Okay. Yeah, this, I've always avoided doing this because I was scared, but I'm here to tell you it's not so scary. Now, I was blessed because these sims already, um, put these outfits on these sims. But if you didn't do that step, you would just take any outfits on any sim that you want. So you could make a whole family with them or just go to your sims you already have and you would save them all the same way, just per category. I can't talk while doing this, apparently. Change outfit. <laughs> Change outfit, outfit command, save. All right, that should be all of this babies. There you go. Okay, so now this baby. So that was that was a boy baby, so now a girl baby. Here we go. You're on your every... Are you serious? MC command center, MC dresser. You're already in your everyday, so outfit command, save outfit. Um, why is the baby's bonnet all the way off its head? Wait a second. This is copying, so I'm on the all. This is all of this baby's outfits. The cursed bonnets, they're so cursed. So like this one is, I think, sleepwear. So now there's four sleepwear outfits, it looks like. So this will do all categories. So when a sim ages up and generates, it will generate, I think, did we have it? So it will just generate one outfit per, I forget, we already did those settings, but it will generate at least one outfit per category from that sim from these outfits, depending on their age and if they're a girl or a boy. And I'm assuming you can add a lot of outfits if you want to. I don't know if there's a cap. If there is, it's probably, what, 100 per category? Save. Change. This is gonna be so worth it in the long run. Because technically... Yeah, wait, because we can... Question. Question. My brain. When we age up, say, a baby in the main house to a toddler, whatever age, are they gonna auto be in these outfits too? Or only unplayed sim? They will have these outfits too. So side families will have these when we age them up. So if we don't want to change side families, we wouldn't have to then. And then if we do change a side family, we could then save their new outfits. That's, that's amazing. That's gonna be so nice. So if we're just feeling lazy and we don't want to change like a main house kid because their outfits look fine, like we wouldn't have to or you could just change the colors this is genius go tell um me three years ago please save so we take the time now to save us time later so much time later oh that's so good i'm now before everyone who did mention it, i was like i know i would love to but i don't know how and it's stressful blah 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 blah. now anyone who mentions it like new people um i'll be like you need to do it right now it's the best thing ever <laughs> You better. It's not so bad. I can show you guys the other settings if you missed it from the other day too that D Sims told me to do. Yeah, because it's not so bad. I do want to test on a sim what it's like to load an outfit. I'm curious. All right, are you done? So these two babies are done. So could I test loading an outfit just to see what happens? Oh my gosh, their little faces are so cute. Look at that little baby. Look at her face. I can't wait to play with the infants. They're so cute. How will accessories load on them? Does it have to be on the outfit? That might be something we might have to fix. Or is it just copying the clothes? Well, I guess the eyelashes we have set as genetics too, right? Look how sweet that baby is. It l sounds like so if a sim generates into your game, they should wear these outfits too, right? So if you have it where sims are generating. If they age up, if they're born into the game. Accessories, copy. But the face stuff would just be their actual genetics and stuff. That'd be separate, right? So what about hair? Is hair going to be random? This baby is so cute. I can't. The little eyelashes. May change colors to match the sim. That is true. All right, that's babies. Who's next? Kid outfits? Oh, these are going to be cute. Mm, so we may have to do hair hairs if they're looking real wild hairs random yeah it should be at least their hair color and stuff say i mean like eyebrows would be random too so if we see a sim townie and they're looking a little rough in the hair and eyebrow department we could take them into cast and edit them that shouldn't be too bad and side families we will be there when side families age up i do like to go there and age them up because we will do that in a spreadsheet i just like to keep it as short as possible so now we can take them into cast but they'll already have 
have outfits and then we can just change what we want leave the rest as what generates and then make sure their hair and eyebrows look good oh and well that would be good take this treat and i'm gonna speed run saving this girl's clothes all right mc command center dresser you are on your normal outfit yes perfect safe i love all the little girl clothes they're so good so if i have a day or an evening or you know where i'm just like i want to go make outfits i couldn't i could just save them all that's gonna be so nice or like main house i will spend time making them have cute outfits so we could totally save them there is a way where you can blacklist items right to not randomly generate does that work for this so like can you blacklist a hair or no it'd be a lot of effort but uh oh i must not have this cc or is that a swimsuit no i'm missing the dress okay we'll just skip that one uh, there you go. going to be using external flame mature keep the in-game versions we always do one one external one too just because when the tree gets so big it chops people People off you can blacklist things so we could go that route if we want to now that would be extra time consuming because <laughs> don't you have to put them on the sim to blacklist the item blacklist the hair but then you need to whitelist one too and you can have you have to do each color and the color will be random <laughs> gross <laughs> anna normally does the tree yeah um sometimes well last time last time we did it where we both had the login so that way i could edit it too if things got behind but that worked out pretty good and then we had the dog tree too wait that outfit's so cute what the heck all right we're on this one now mm. save oh that outfit's adorable save save i don't know if that one's on here well no that one didn't have a link we didn't do plum tree right no that one that one was all pictures yeah that one's in discord though Save outfit i think it was changing to a plum tree when the tree got too big or no i think what she did was she stopped taking pictures of the whole tree and only parts of it it got rough with that save i guess if i miss an outfit it won't be the end of the world but save save i'm so sorry if i'm on like a tv right now and hurting your eyeballs it's kind of hurting mine it's making them tired save okay girl is done save the game let's do the boys outfits this isn't too bad. Literally, I'm just thinking of all the time this saves later. All right, you're already wearing that. Outfit command save. Outfit command save. And the screen goes great. Breaks your routine. True. Save. Perfect. Guys. Outfit save. Save. Outfit save. Outfit save. Outfit save. 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 Okay, boy is done. Look at me zooming, guys. This is gonna be great. Look at this cute sim. All right, you're... We have what, two girls? MC Dresser. She's in the first outfit. All right, outfit command, save. Next outfit. Outfit command, save. Next outfit. Outfit commands, save. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. My eyes are freaking out, but it's fine. Save, save, save. I like how I'm not even looking at the outfits. I'm like, no, I, I, I know D-Sims has got me here. Save. That's rough, huh? What is she holding in that? Oh, it's the baby behind her. Save, 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 save. We're almost there. We're doing so good, guys. Good job, everyone. <laughs> You're all doing great. Save, save. Oops. Wait, I got out of sync. There we go. Save. Let's see. All right, let's do the guys' outfits, and then we'll do the other girls' outfits, and then we just have to bring in the toddlers, and we'll be good on outfits. So now if anyone generates or anything, if anyone ages up, we'll be good. Uh, save outfit. Save outfit. Save outfit. Save outfit. Save outfit. My eyes! Okay, we're almost done. If it didn't do the whole flash thing, it would be fine. They, like... It loads you out and in every time. It's so much. My eyes. Save. Save. We'll pass on that one. Save. Save. Why is he a fireman? <laughs> what? How did that sneak in there? What happened here? Is he a fireman in your game? He is? Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's funny. Oh my gosh, the screens. We're just gonna sit back here. Almost there, almost there, almost there. He's a mod for that career? Yeah. He didn't want to let go of his, uh firefighter passed all right oops i'm getting excited okay he's all done let's go to the second lady and then we just have the toddlers 
Oh, let me save. Change outfit to your everyday. Outfit save. Change outfit. 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 Oh, it almost broke there. Did you see that? Change outfit. Change outfit. Save. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to be done with this. <laughs> Change outfit. I need sunglasses for this or something. <laughs> this must just be some CCs I am missing. I don't know how I'm missing CC at this point. I feel like I have the whole internet downloaded. Oops, oops. Oops, there we go. Save. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We're so close. Speed running. My fingers, my arm. It's cramping. Thank you guys for the hype train. Oh, that, that, that makes sense. She's a ballerina. Okay, this family is all set. I just need to put the toddlers into their family so I can do them. Can I test them um, putting an outfit on someone? I want to see what it's like now that I did their outfits so it shouldn't break, right? Like, 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 theoretically. If you clicked load outfit, would it give her a random one? Oh, age up a kid? I look at their feet and legs and technique and just die inside. I know, and they're so, like, flexible and so good. Or their turns are amazing. Like, all of that. Here, I'll age her up real quick. Oh, I forget how. Set age, there we go. Oh, I was like, it didn't work! It worked! Oh, why are you so pretty? What the heck? You're looking great so then her outfits wow look at that and then you could go in and edit if you want to which townies i won't care so much about besides like hair and stuff if they look silly but um side families then we could just go in and edit what we wanted dang there you go or if it's like a family is specifically rich or specifically poor you could go in and change outfits out but so then what happens if you wanted this to be a different one would you click load oh so it would just give her a different one yeah her hair actually does work well what what happens if you click random saved outfit? Delete would delete the one she's wearing. And would add... I'll ask one question at a time so I can wait. So what's random saved outfit first? It would choose a random outfit. What's the difference of random and load? And then is add outfit to category? Would that be if I want this cat or this outfit that's in the everyday? Oh, randoms from any category? Okay. So is this outfit that's in everyday, if I wanted to save it to another category, would you click add outfit to category? Load is same category, random is in antsy. And then clean outfits would refresh all our outfits, especially if she was wearing different ones. Yes, you would. Okay, let's go grab the toddlers. All right, little toddlers, let's start with Elizabeth here. You and your everyday, you are okay, ready, set, go, save outfit. <laughs> Oops. Oh, boy. Well, now we know that that has a thing that pops up. Unless you set it otherwise. We set it so that it will, right? Because can you do it so it's like only townies if you wanted to? Only unplayed sims? I know we went over the settings, but that was like yesterday. A long time ago. Oh my gosh. I'm getting overzealous with my clicks. We can do it. We can do it. Oops. Wrong outfit. Um, are you on this one? Yes, you can. But we have a set for everyone. Perfect. I don't see like why you wouldn't because chances are you're going to change them. Whatever family you don't want to be on, you're going to change them yourselves anyways, you know? So you might as well just have it for everyone. I didn't think of a scenario you wouldn't. I guess if you wanted the main house to be random any close but that would be interesting save almost there and then it's just the boy Did i save that one i hope so all right save and then just the toddler boy oh my gosh i hate that it took so long but at the same time that's nothing compared to the time we spend on this oh man medieval let's play we just set this up it's gonna be interesting to see how our townies go that's for sure all right are you in your everyday save 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 this is gonna seriously be so literally because what took the most of our time when we started having a lot of sims pass what is this saving us time on pass to think of just aging a sim up and just having to go and check their hair and maybe some colors like sit <laughs> okay make sure their eyelashes transferred basically and then if they do if they do load on like if it's a poor family or a rich family or whatever and they load on an outfit that doesn't match that you could just have it refresh the load on it and see if you can just get another random one that's per their you know economic value status thing Mm-hmm, mm hmm Well, luckily, a lot of them are pretty universal, especially for, like, all the little kid outfits. They're all kind of wearing the same. We're halfway there. Oh! We have more than two outfits. Yeah, I think D Sims put five in every category so that we would have, like, a good mix. So then when it loads on a sim, it could pick from five outfits, basically. But we can add more. This will just get us started. Um, let's see. Save. We're so close. 
save. That feels good. It feels good. All right. Um, now we can delete these families and go place NPCs real quick. I'm not going to like go through the NPCs one by one or anything. We're just going to put them in the game and you'll kind of see them. Okay. I think that's fair. I don't think anyone cares otherwise. NPCs. And then I'm going to summon NPCs and flag them to not die. I want them to be eternal. That's not good. Or does... Do you, maybe he does have it. What if I hit remove? Oh, he still has the trait. Oh, he still has it. Cool. Well, that's good to know. You're good then, sir. Can we make you leave now? Just go away. Okay, we good then. Let's test, um, male lady. Um, what is our male lady's name? I don't recognize my sims yet because I, I... Oh, uh, no, not you. You. Lucille, right? Let's test that on you. Would hers be an actual... Well, I assume that's a hidden job, too. Is it in here as well? Or is hers an actual career? Great, so let's see if it's here. Oh, that's all of them. Do you still have your trait? No. Okay, so she might need hers back. Male. Trait is mailman. <laughs> that one? Here you go. Perfect. Okay, so she should now be our male woman since she works at the mail, um, you know, the post office, that, that thing. She helps with all of that. Um, I'm gonna have you guys send home. Oh, I can't send you home. Guess you're stuck here then. Oh, she's not ours, is she? I can't tell. No, she's ours. Oh, she's an NPC? She's a really pretty NPC, okay. Which one is she? Oh, she's a random NPC. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. I think that should be everyone then. That seemed to appear to be everyone. So these guys are taken care of. The rest of these guys need to be marked as not to die. I don't know where that flag is. Is it just in Sims flags? Annie, is your cat on your keyboard? Is it just one in here? I just don't want him to die. And only become pregnant. MC pregnant. Annie, are you okay? MC tuner? No. MC command center. Flag for no... Oh, flag as immortal. So this one. Sim flagged as an immortal will never age up or die. Okay, so she's immortal and these guys should not be getting married and having kids, right? Or will they? Because I want them to be immortal. I don't want them to be doing any of that, basically. Unless I should just sit and flag them all. I don't know. Since I have MC Command Center set up that some of our families are technically homeless. We did have it set that they can still have babies as being homeless. And they can still get married if they're homeless. Because we have homeless families. Will these sims affect or suffer from the effects of freezing or heat? I think so. Because they're immortal, right? So they literally can't die. Yeah, if they have babies, yeah, I would get super confused because they're immortal. Mortals, so they're in our game forever. So basically, we don't want to see them often enough to know who they are, essentially. Like, I wouldn't want them to be in a family and be immortal or have to change them or anything. So yeah, I might just flag them all just in case my MC command centers aren't... Or, like, the settings aren't set right. So where would that all be? Pregnancy would be like... Oh, wow. There's all kinds of things in there. Hold on. Once I find them, it'll be easy. No offspring. Sim with this flag will never bear children or cause pregnancy to happen to other sims. Yep. And then no marriage. Well, I guess if I just give them no marriage, they're not allowed to have kids technically per my settings, but I don't trust it. So I can copy flags and put them on all of them. <gasps> will that work or will it break other flags? Uh, what else do you need? Population. Flag is homeless. Mark for moving. No. We try it. Where's the no marry? Flag never marry. Some of this flag will get never get married through the automated scheduled MC marriage process. That's wild. So this sim is no offspring, immortal, never marry. So they should just live forever, have their job. Yada yada yada. Perfect. Okay, let's try it. Um, are any of these sims married though? Like um they person who lives with the pub owner is that his wife or is that a person who works at the pub happy flags happy flag source adeline only the scots are married okay so we can just do their flags separate it says it wouldn't marry them through and the other thing but i don't want to break their marriage <laughs> i don't want to be the cause of their marriage being broken now how do i paste sims flags paste current flags no flags paste current flags no offspring flag is mortal flag never marry <gasps> well this just made this a lot easier now didn't it oh wait these were the crumple bottoms though now they're extra immortal we we need to make sure that they are still crumple bottoms just in case but they're not getting married extra now okay and that would work for all of the npcs who are just there in case jobs need to be filled too yeah this should be good and then him we need to do something different with although maybe we, he should be flagged to not marry if he's not already face flags on you um you sir i need to take a look at you so young adult because he does age up and die doesn't he 
he's the curio shop owner. Okay, so maybe we should just make him homeless and he can, uh, or not make him homeless, make him live forever so he can just own a shop forever. Yeah, we'll do rando dress on him too. So if I give you my flags, you still like own your shop and stuff? There you go. Yeah, so he just won't do anything but own his curio shop forever. <laughs> if we ever have to go there for any reason or we pass by there, like he would be there. Um, yeah, let's test the dresser. So if we do MC dresser, outfit commands... Is this where you click clean outfits and it would give him them? <gasps> we get to use the clean outfit button? Remove excluded items from all outfit categories? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at his new outfit. Oh, there you go. Perfect. He looks fantastic. Nice and timely. Look at him. <laughs> I gave him a yellow shirt and everything. That worked out really well. I feel like I should save my game. All right, this dude now, MC commands. Oh, yeah, because they're... Career should all be correct too, right? That's a good button. Paste flags. Now he won't do any of those things. Well, actually, yeah, do these guys? No, they don't. Okay, I was about to say, are they called crumple bottom job? So like his job? Yeah, made. Okay, cool. Right, let's make sure we do this in order. MC command center. She doesn't have a job. What was her job? A librarian. Although some of them don't pop up as jobs, right? Because some are like hidden ones. Okay, okay, good. Paste flags. Okay. Face flags. Ah, oh, my game is gonna be lit. Sim flags. Sim flags. Face. And now you all know how to do this. You're welcome. <laughs> Sims flags. Cause I would have never even thought about doing this. Is that all you three? I guess I can always paste. But we did yours. Yep, you're good. And you're good too. Yep. Okay. Next, we did you. Rose Fletcher. Oh, that's not it. You. Sorry, guys, but you all um are stuck in this eternally. <laughs> so sorry. I mean, just think. You don't have to die. You are married, though. And it says you're married and stuff. So for you, we're gonna do it separate. We're just gonna do that you're immortal. Oops. Cancel. And then we're just gonna do that you're not gonna have kids. There you go. But you guys are already married and you should stay married. So you should be fine there. And then you. Ace flags. You. Ace flags. Is there a flag for no relationship change or no divorce? Um, maybe. Oh, you're saying for that couple just to make sure they don't divorce and go remarry. Well, let's take a peek here. Paste your flags and then pregnancy, marriage, never break up. Maybe we could give them the never break up one. Here, I'm actually about to be on him. So, Sims flags. We're gonna give you a mortal. And then we're gonna give you no offspring. But we're also gonna give you never break up. Never break up will be bypassed when the MC marriage process is run to determine if NPC is okay. So then they should be good. And I'll, I'll mark her too. So come back to him in a second. Make sure you have that as well. Pregnancy, relationship, flag to never break up. Now go back. We just have this little bunch here. So we'll just go like this and we'll start here. MC command center, Sims flags. I wish, or I wish paste was on the top. You as well. Oh, this is going to be so good, guys. I'm so excited for this round of decades. Like, so good. It's going to be so good. Oh, uh, well, we're halfway there. More than halfway there. Paste. My hand hurts from this. Sims flags. Paste. It's, it's seriously going to be so good. We've done so many things that we've never done before in the sense of making it easier, but also more immersive. So we're getting, like both and that that's good so it will in essence make the game have more longevity because we won't have as much getting backed up we'll still have stuff that we're gonna have to like stay caught up on like bachelor and such but just it will feel a lot less like birthday shouldn't get so backed up and stuff but yet we can still enjoy going and aging them up and stuff these flags oh that should be all of the townies we can double check with a teleporter one more time but that looks like it's everyone the only other thing we need to do is go and delete those extra sims in the sim like thing okay bye 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 thanks for coming you're gonna go through my house to leave that's so rude knock that off if you break anything you buy it leave oh yep they're all leaving what okay hey, bye where are you and what are you doing okay we should be good. You are supposed to be Patrick's brother. So can't we click on them and click relationships and add relationship? Son, brother, father. So this is your brother. 
other. Okay. So now are you in our tree just magically and everyone's related to you? Oh no. Hey, why aren't you married? Aren't you married? Why are you not married? <laughs> are you married? Interesting. So, okay, Finley, that's your father, your mother, and your wife. Okay, <laughs> you guys are good. I have to fix their, like, other issue things, um, what's their called? Skills. Alright, now are you guys good? So oh, look, he's married. <laughs> he's like, oh, I just married. Okay, so now you're married to Nora. You guys have a kid named Finley. Finley's married to Kaylee. So if you click Patrick, you know that this is his brother. But here's the problem. When his brother dies, they're not going to be related. I mean, he'll be... Well, I guess he'll be a ghost because he'll die in game, right? I just, I'm hoping we can still see his family through here is what I'm saying. This is his uncle. These are his cousins. But The Sims doesn't take it as that's so annoying. Let's summon the post lady and her brother and make sure they're related. I'm not sure if they are. So now do you guys know? Yeah! So now this is her brother. And then this is her brother's family. And then she has her mother. Are they related? <gasps> Perfect. Bless. I think that's all of our family stuff in town. Everyone else should have their family trees. They should. <laughs> they should be okay. I thought these guys were married too, so who knows. But that's perfect. That's so perfect. So then like that's their grandmother and everything. And you go back to Mabel and you go to her husband, Sydney, which is her brother. And then she's married to Seamus, who is... Our family's brother. Where you go? There you go. He doesn't know his mother. You saying him? Because that's his wife's mother. Perfect. You guys should be all set. This man, this man's mother is gone or not alive. Um, and what else do we have left then besides that? That we have all NPCs in. We have all townies. Everyone has jobs. Everyone has flags. Oh, we could go flag the reverend. He's not a priest anymore, so technically he could marry, though. Maybe we'll leave him. I mean, he's is he he's already... I can't remember if he's a young adult or an adult already. He would only be able to marry. He wouldn't be able to get anyone pregnant until, um... Unless he actually married someone. So we could leave him then, since he's not a priest. Um... What else? What else? What else? Otherwise, it's gameplay time. Oh my gosh, it's finally happening! Uh, it wasn't today, but it's tomorrow. I said no promises on today, but tomorrow, as long as I stream, it'll be gameplay day. Oh my goodness. Alright, I love you guys. Bye!